right. This is not a good example because it's a big piece of wood, but which wood just which would come out after the summer. But uh, in a sense, if, if we make all these massive he uh, heading cuts in here, we, we may we may invigorate that. That's more. right, and that's we're why we're he comes more back more. in. He comes back in right before harvest, or you know, a couple weeks before harvest, and he takes them off again. Or this is one of those cuts. That, I mean, the one cut we're not, we can't do mechanically now is that renewal cut. So where you've got balanced wood, like even in here, this is good, you know, fine, nothing, nothing here needs to be trimmed if it wasn't. When you get into the bigger stuff, you get where it's trimmed. This will happen. The pruner has a position if you can economically justify it. It's a $30,000 piece of equipment, and it's imperfect in what it's doing. Um, However, it is providing a function in here because it is taking off these side branches or it's bringing the canopy closer together. I think that that pruner is something that you're going to bring back in here in the middle of the summer because you are going to get regrowth from here because it's dormant cut. And they're going to come out and you're going to want to do it again because then that keeps the system with light coming in. So I see a role for that machine in large operations where you don't have time, the crew time, to come in and do the summer pruning because you invariably, you either do it right before cherry harvest to which you're thinning apples, or right after cherry harvest, to which you've gone back to thinning apples. So you don't have time. And so, and that might be, for after harvest, that might be a great quick and dirty way to maintain light in here. And then especially, you've taken that machine and tilted it so that you hedge the top of this thing, or top this, oh, that's, topping it is a no-brainer. And because you'll continually do that. I mean, you'll do it, you'll do it once right now, and then you'll come back right after, uh, basically right after bloom, or not after bloom, but uh, a couple weeks after bloom when you've got that new growth coming that you need to get rid of, that's when you come and retop it to stop it from growing more. But the way that it's set up, I think, is it's accomplishing really what we hope to bite. Yeah.